Hello peoples, we are back with another video. Welcome back to Mental Diet Mastery. In today's video, I want to do a video about health. This is something that has come up in my awareness probably over the last couple of weeks um, where um, I was answering some questions in uh, some groups on Facebook. Um, I've also seen it come up um, on Reddit. I have answered uh, quite a few questions about health related issues on Reddit over the years because of my past history and I'm not going to go into great detail because otherwise this video is going to be really long but I have what you would call cured or healed quite a number of health issues I think the first one was probably the hardest and then once you know you can do it then everything becomes easy <laughs> and believe me after 47 years because uh, I just turned 47 a couple of weeks ago um, I had a, quite a number of issues built up and um, I just sort of knocked them off one by one um, although now I know a little bit better and I know that you don't have to do it one by one all you have to do is just choose the state of health and I know, and it's the same way as all of my tapping videos, um, in that reality creation or manifesting or, you know, changing your life is really, really down to this one simple thing. It is just choosing and then just be that person, you know, choose that I'm a healthy person and then you just keep choosing it. Um, and yet we just, as humans, <laughs> find that so difficult we we need these processes and techniques to help us maintain that state um, and I find that tapping really helped me which is why I created the channel in the first place <laughs> okay so I've kind of already gone a little bit all over the place so let's rewind back sorry I tend to do that um, yeah, so I've been answering some questions that are in Facebook groups. I've been answering stuff on Reddit. And then the other night I watched a video that Zach um, released. Um, I put it in the link to it in my community on my community community page. <laughs> and under his video, when I watched it, I um, commented with my, sto my story about being diagnosed as bipolar type 2 about 15 years ago. Now, I have been completely free of that diagnosis for about four or five years now. Um, it's, I just, I am not that person anymore. Um, I don't even know that old person, uh, that old version of me. That was just another ident old identity. So, and I say this in all the videos, but I'm going to have to repeat myself, I know, because some of you are only watching some and not all of them because you only watch the things that apply to you. So how all this works is that there is an infinite amount of realities out there and infinite versions of yourself. So there is a version of you that you know is not well or has this issue or whatever, which is probably your current state of being if you're watching this video. And then there is a version of you that is completely healthy. And what we want you to do is step into that version that is completely healed and healthy. Now, I was having this conversation with one of my friends the other day because she was saying, you know, she goes to the physio all the time because her back keeps hurting and she keeps saying, my back is healing, my back is healing. And I'm like, no, 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 that's not what you do. <laughs> no, 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 we don't do that. What we do is that we decide we are now the healthy version. So you step into that version of you that's always been healthy. It's not that you're healing it or curing it or, you know, it's no, you're stepping into the version of you that's never had that sore back, that's never had those issues because that was a different reality. That's a different version of you. In this version, you were healthy. You were whole, complete and healthy. All right. <laughs> I think I've explained everything that I kind of wanted to explain. Now, with this video, I do have to do a medical disclaimer for YouTube purposes, just to say that I am not a doctor. I am not a psychiatrist. 
I was, I am an ex-therapist, but <laughs> I do not diagnose or treat. I cannot diagnose or treat you. So if you have any health related issues and need to see a professional, please see a professional, you know, yada, 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 you know, <laughs> just had to put that uh, disclaimer in. Um, this video is literally just me telling you what my experience and my knowledge and if you wish to apply it then it's your choice okay now that we're done with that let's keep going <laughs> so right now um, now I am going to do this video as just the general state of health um, I'm not going to break it down into um, all different, um, you know, unhealthy states, whether it's your back hurting or whether your ears hurting or your foot's hurting, or maybe it's a mental issue. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's all the same state. It's just, you're in this state of not health. <laughs> and we're going to shift you over here to the state of health. I'm choosing the state of health, okay? Um, I did just want to say, just quickly, um, I probably should have done this at the start, but I'm not going to edit this and small because I just can't be bothered. I'm lazy. <laughs> so some of the things that I have healed over the years is um, I used to have a medication for um, heartburn. Um, and I used to get it really severely every uh, every few days or something and I haven't been taking medication for about a year now and I have not had any heartburn because well I'm not that person anymore that was the old Kylie um, that's not me um, I the doctors told me I needed a hysterectomy about um, I think it was about four years ago now and I just went absolutely not no way no <laughs> And I decided right then and there, no, that's not me. No, um, I am healthy. Everything is healthy. All my insides are healthy. My hormones are balanced and happy. And I just kept repeating that and stepping into that state of, no, I'm perfect. My insides are perfect. My hormones are perfect. Everything is perfect. And it probably only took maybe, it was actually, you know, I was still sort of learning the law, so it wasn't like expert level. <laughs> So it probably took maybe a month or two and everything went back to perfectly normal and the doctors are like, how did that happen? <laughs> um, under Zach's video, I told the story about my bipolar diagnosis, which I talked about, I think, at the start of this video. Um, I've also done other little things. I was meant to have my hip replaced at like 30 something because I was a dancer. I've been a dancer all my life. Um, I retired when I was 35. And I basically have ruined, well, no, sorry, the old me ruined her hips. <laughs> but my hips are perfectly healthy. They are perfect and they never hurt. <laughs> I'm still sometimes in the process, like occasionally something will flare up if I have um, had a really big week like there was one particular week a couple of weeks ago um, where I was doing like 25,000 steps a day because it was just a really big week and my hip started hurting and I'm just like no that's not who I am I am perfect my hips are perfect and then I just go on like obviously you deal with whatever you need to deal with in the 3d so if you're in pain then take Panadol or, or whatever you need to do you don't ignore you don't ignore what's going on in the 3d actually that is one of the things I did want to touch upon is that a lot of people, um, when they're asking questions about manifesting health um, and uh, they come back to me and they're like, but, 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 you know, I, I can't ignore the pain, you know, I can't just ignore that I have this thing and the symptoms are just always at me and things. And it's like, I'm not asking you to ignore it. I'm not asking you to, to completely ignore it and try to... Um, you know, try to um, think that you, you're not in pain. Well, you are. Like, just accept it. Okay, I accept that I'm in pain. I, I'm going to go take Panadol. But then internally, you're like, no, I'm not accepting this. So there's sort of, you, sometimes you feel a little bit like split 
into realities. Um, you know, just just think, no, that's just the old part of me that's dying or the old me that's going away, but that's not who I am anymore. Okay. Sorry, I've gone on a little bit. So I think I've said everything I've wanted to say um, about the topic of health. So let's start the tapping. <laughs> so with all my tapping, um, we always do three setup statements on the karate chop point, this bit here. Hang on, I'll just roll my sleeves up because they're in the way. And then we tap through the points. We tap through a negative round. So we, we're trying to clear the story. So we're telling your nervous system to calm down. Um, and we're clearing out whatever triggers. So what, okay, <laughs> talk Kylie. <laughs> All right, what we do the negative round for is because wherever, whenever you're talking about the particular topic you're having issues with, your nervous system is flaring up. That is what you know you would probably refer to as a trigger. So for instance, if I was thinking and talking about my hip hurting, my nervous system would be like, meep, meep, alert, 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 alert. And what the tapping does, because you're tapping on the meridian points, on all these points, is it's telling the nervous system, it's okay, you can calm down. <laughs> and we're clearing it out. So it's clearing out that old trigger um, so that you no longer feel triggered when you're talking about it or thinking about it. And then if it's not triggering you anymore, it tends to just go away, right? So that is the reason why we do the negative round. And it always works better when you actually use your own words. So sometimes in my tapping, when I remember, I usually say, I want you to tell me how you feel about this topic and I want you to use your words um, because it's more like target practice. When you use your words, we're targeting your nervous system and the words that you use. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Starting on the karate chop point before I go on and on and on. All right, even though I have this issue and you can name your issue if you like, I still love and accept myself with or without this issue. Even though <laughs> there is a version of me that's been battling this thing for however long, insert however long. I'm choosing to accept that version of me and I'm allowing myself to let go. Okay, last one. Even though I have had trouble Stepping in to the state of health before today, I'm going to forgive myself and accept all the versions of me. All right, let's do the rate negative round. I have this issue. I just feel like I can't get rid of this issue. I 
I just don't feel like I can step into the state of health. Just like that. That just seems too good to be true. It seems too easy. What? I can just decide that I'm healthy and that's it? But I've had this issue for however long. Under the arm. I just can't get rid of it. How can I ignore it? When I'm in pain every day. I just don't think I can be healthy. I don't think that I'll ever be healthy. I don't even know what healthy feels like. It just seems impossible for my issue. I don't think I'll ever be healthy. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this thing. State your issue. Okay. I feel, and I want you to insert how you feel about having this thing. I want you to use your words. I feel about my issue. I am just so, how do you, you know, what are your words about your issue? I feel so frustrated. I'm so sick of this. I don't want this issue anymore. I'm just over it. I don't want to be this version of me anymore. I don't want this insert issue anymore. Okay, take a deep breath in and out. We're gonna let that version go. We're just gonna do a quick round of letting it go. Ready, starting here. I'm choosing to let this old identity go. Choosing to let this go now. I am choosing to release this old version of me. I am letting it go now. I am allowing myself to let this go now. I am stepping out of that old, ident old identity. I'm letting it go right now. And breathing. Letting it go. All right. Now, because everything is just a choice, we are going to choose to step in to the identity as someone who is healthy. I am choosing from now on I am healthy. 
I have stepped into a reality where I am healthy. I am choosing to be healthy. I am choosing to be the version of me that is healthy, whole, complete, and perfect. <laughs> I am healthy. I am choosing to be healthy. I am in a reality where I am now healthy. And I've always been healthy. I no longer have that issue. That was the old me. I am the creator of my reality. And I get to choose. I'm the one in control. I'm the one that has the power to choose. I believe in myself. I believe that I am the creator and therefore get to choose. Sorry. <laughs> okay. If you would like to do another positive round of uh, positive affirmations and tapping them in, things to do with I'm choosing health, this is who I am now, I am health, I am healthy, I am whole, complete and perfect, please go ahead. I don't want to make this video too long, <laughs> which I think it's already going to be. Uh, sorry about that. Um, if you have any further questions about this or any other topics, please feel free to write them in the comments below, or you can join the Facebook group. The, uh, just, um, the link is in the description. Um, it's growing every day and getting bigger. <laughs> I am in there most days answering questions. There's also a chat feature in the group. Um, and I have my moderator that helps out with answering questions as well. So there's usually someone around that can answer uh, anything. Uh, and that is all I have for you today. I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you.